So the next question I want to throw out to you is, do you think you can rely on your team coaches to advance your hands from average to exceptional? Unfortunately, I'm going to have to say no, and for a few reasons. First, let me start by saying that grassroots community hockey programs from around the world are ran by volunteer mom and dad coaches, and you do an amazing job. The challenge is that a lot of these moms and dads are eager to help, but have a limited knowledge of the game or playing experience, especially in the first three to four years of coaching youth hockey. Governing bodies from around the world try to educate these novice coaches through certification programs and seminars. I myself went through all of them and retired a level five master coach. I've seen several other countries coaching education materials and you've all done a fantastic job on this endeavor. The complication many new coaches face is that there is just so much to be taught to these young hockey hopefuls. It can be overwhelming. Because of this, a good percentage of coaches are a jack of all trades but a master of nothing. Meaning, over time they gain a good general knowledge of how to teach all aspects of the game but don't specialize in one sector like how to develop elite level stick handling, passing, and shooting skills. Seriously, really take a look at everything that has to be taught in the first few years. You have technical skating, both forward and backward, edge work, agility and balance drills, starts and stops, turns, crossovers, stick handling, passing, and shooting. Then there's the tactical part of the game we have to teach, like forechecking and backchecking, breakouts, neutral zone regroups, zone entries, battle drills, as well as power play tactics and penalty killing strategies. It's a lot. The odds of you having a coach at any time during your career that is a stick skills specialist isn't very good. So I asked the question again, can you rely on your coaches to take your stick skills from average to exceptional? What do you think? You know where I stand. If you want to gain more confidence when you have the puck in your stick, you have to find someone who specializes in stick skill development. Maybe you'll get lucky and find someone who can help. Please proceed to the next video.